Hi everybody, welcome to my Hillside Urban Garden. Today, we're gonna to talk about geraniums. So what we're gonna talk about today is I'm gonna repot this geranium here, and also a couple of different ways that you can, you know, you can display them. Let's say you like you're having a party and, and you just went out and bought a geranium, but you don't have time maybe to repot it right now. What I've done before, and I'll put a picture up there for you to see, is that you can see that in this pot, this geranium is still in its original pot here, okay? And so this particular pot has no drainage. So what I can do is put the pot in here and I can display it uh, in our two chairs over there and it does just fine. It's good, been here maybe about six weeks or so, but now I feel it's kind of time to transplant it, but it's put on a great show and looked really well. If you're worried about seeing the pot, you can put some moss around there or some rocks or something and nobody will see it, nobody will know. So it's a good way if you want to do something at the last minute, if you're having an event and you want to display some plants, you know, do some of your pretty pots that don't have any drainage and put, the, put them in there and um, it'll look really well. But today we're going to take it out of here and I'm going to put it into this terracotta pot. I really like geraniums. They're very versatile. They're very hardy. They do well in um, my uh, growing area. And I have, uh, oh, probably at least a half a dozen different types. So the first thing, before you even get started in, in uh, transplanting, make sure you have everything here ready to go. So for me, I decided that I'm gonna plant it in this um, old wire basket, and I'm gonna put a saucer on the bottom. So the first thing that I do, as you can see, it's a got some debris in there, is I take my handy dandy brush and we'll clean that out. So put that in there. And then this pot here, also the same thing. We'll give it a good brush. It's good when you're first doing um, you know, a plant in a pot, is just to clean your old pots. It's, it's a good opportunity. So you can see that fits in there pretty well. So now we're gonna put in um, the potting um, mix. Now I use an off the shelf potting mix. The one thing that you want to remember to have very good success in, in potting your plants is that for your potting mix, let me move this here. I put mine in a five gallon bucket and then I add water. The potting mix is always very dry. It might even look moist, but it's not moist enough. So you can have some failures when you're repotting um, your plants because the soil has not been completely uh, rehydrated. So I add a lot of water and it's amazing how much it actually will take. And I will take my um, trowel and just mix it up, kind of do like a slicing method. And you can see that it will go ahead and just absorb all that water that I put in there. So that's all been rehydrated now. So I'll just take my scooper and I'm gonna fill up the pot. And I fill it probably to probably an inch or the bottom of the rim here. Depending on how many plants you're going to put in the pot, this is just going to be a one plant, a one pot. I think the geraniums, they look really, they put on quite a show just having them just as a mono planting. So what I'm going to do is just going to push that down just a little bit, get some of the air out, and we can put a little bit more in here now. You can always add more later if, you know, if it really packs down. But another reason to rehydrate your soil is that this is kind of the, the the place it's going to be. Okay, so now we've got all the soil in the pot and I'm just gonna make a hole. So I'm gonna plant this right in the middle here and I'm just grabbing a handful, put it on the side, grabbing a handful, put it on the side. So then you can put down here some of your um, fertilizer. So put some, um, some time-release fertilizer at the bottom. That'll help the plant um, feed for the next few months and you don't have to fertilize it as often, even though geraniums really don't need a lot of fertilizer. So the next thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up the plant itself. So you can see here that I have a couple of spent blooms. So by taking those off, that is a couple of things. It, it gives a little bit more energy to the plant to reestablish itself. So I'm just gonna go down to the base right here with my little snippers and I'm just gonna snip it off. And that one did have a couple flowers, but I think it's best we already have another bloom here and two open flowers here. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna clean up the plant. I 
I'm going to go through here and I'm going to look for leaves that are dead or dying. And we're going to take those off. If they don't come off easily, we'll take the snippers and we'll take those off. And what this does well, honestly, it makes the plant just look a lot better. That leaf looks pretty good. We'll leave that one there. I see a couple little more little spent ones here, so I'm going to take those off. And any other thing that you see in here, if you see any you know, little dead pieces, you can snip those off as well. Well, so that looks pretty good. So what I'm going to do is before that you transplant your plant, you want to make sure that you water it. So what that does is that re rehydrates the roots. So you put that in there and you can see really not much water coming out of that. So I'm just going to give it just a very light squeeze. I'm going to take my hands, make a, almost like the little Vulcan sign here. And I'm going to put it in between the plant here. I'm going to turn it over, give it a couple pats, and it comes out. So there is our plant. So we're going to put it right in the hole here. Position it the way that you like it. Do you want it up and down? Do you want it over like this? It's your personal preference. Whatever you like, that's what I always recommend that you do. It's your garden, and that's what um, you do in your garden. You just put it the way that you want to see it. I'm just pressing lightly in there. All right, there we go. Now I'm going to get my brush, and I'm just going to watch the plant. I'm just going to brush lightly, get the rest of the debris off here. There we go. And we'll give it a little water. Give some fertilizer in here, just to give it a little boost. And there you go. So we have my new geranium. I'm going to say it's my new geranium. And anyway, in this pot, I think it kind of looks a little bit bigger too, right? It's a bigger pot. It looked a little bit small and spindly in, in this pot. So I think uh, it's going to, this one here is going to do very well. So let me go and place it, and I'll take a picture, and I'll show you what it looks like. So everyone, thanks for watching the video today. Go out and plant a geranium. We hope to see you in the next video. And always remember, be safe in the garden. Always wear your hat and your sunscreen. Thanks everybody. Bye.